Hey, this is Sherry. This is some important information. Every single person needs to do this that owns property. All right, and the reason why, how I found out about it is uh, through my latest article of the way of the retirement plans being switched to government bonds, someone left this comment here. And it says, that's why I have a land patent that converted my property into a private property and really all mine without interference from the county, state, or federal government. You should look into this. And that was this morning they left the comment. And since then, I have looked into it. And I've done all kinds of searches into it. All right. This is very important. Originally, our land before the 1930s, all the land in the United States was gotten by, uh, the U.S. got it by either treaties or purchases, like the Louisiana Purchase and so on. Okay. And you can see all these different ones. Now, we used to have our land transferred to us by land patents. That means absolute sovereignty ownership of the land. Well, you know, in the early 1900s, just like the Federal Reserve and so on, um, that was, uh, everything was built by fraud and then um, created by fraud and, and obscurity. Um, so, along with that, they became, uh, they began changing the land, how the land was transferred. Like when we purchase land now, or property, um, the federal government, or if you don't pay your taxes, it can be taken from you because really the government owns it. Just like the executive uh, uh, order that Obama signed of, of uh, economic uh, continuity of government, uh, that any land or anything that needs to be gotten can be taken. Well, once you do a land patent, your land, your property is yours, okay? Completely yours. It cannot be taken if you have a mortgage on it. The bank cannot take it. The uh, foreclosed on you. The um, government cannot take it for not paying taxes. You have all rights to that land, including if you're in a subdivision uh, or any kind of property and you want to build on it and you have to get all these permits and so on. Well, when you have a land patent, you have a sovereignty right to that land and you can do what you want. You do not need permits, believe it or not. This is so important. I believe it makes, once people get back to how our forefathers meant us to own land, which is how they created it, um, then it makes your land more valuable because even when you sell it, any assigns, when you make sure that it's transferred via with the land patent, whoever buys your property, if you want to sell it, will then have the land patent too. All right, now this is so important. Everyone Everyone needs to do a land patent on their property of sovereign rights. All right, I'm going to be linking this in the article in the way of what the land patent is. Now, the land patent is not a way to swindle in the way of getting out of paying your taxes because federal courts have made the people pay their taxes. But you cannot have your property taken from you for not paying the taxes as it is now, pretty much after two years, okay? All right, um, how land patents work, it was originally acquired within the U.S. by some treaty. Your, your land patent secures the rights of the treaty upon which the land was originally acquired within the territories of the U.S. from the treaty to the individual person named on the patent. It specifically grants the described lands to the party named on the patent and to their heirs and their assigns forever. The party named on the patent then passes the inheritance, grants, or assigns the patent lands to someone else, which heir or assignee is now named on the patent by that assignment. The documents that demonstrate such an assignment are often called deeds. So then you have a land patent deed, not a warranty deed, and not the kind of deeds that they try to give you now. Okay? This is everybody's right. 
The party named on the patent then passes, all right, um, because the grantor cannot compel you to accept the assignment, it is necessary for you to take some action to signify your acceptance of the assignment. For this reason, we use the team law copyrighted declaration of land patent. Once you've accepted the proper assignment of the land patent with proper documentation, you are named on the physical patent where it says, and to his heirs and assigns forever. Doesn't matter how many times the land is reassigned. The patent by its own creation lasts forever and belongs to the main party. That's why you can get a land patent now. Now, here's another link. And it is about the ownership of property and how it is either, which if you look on your deed, it says feudal, all right, compared to allodium. Allodium is you have all rights, no one is superior to you and your rights to your property. Feudal means your property, which is now it's how the deeds are written, is that it can be a feud against your property and you, you don't have um, uh, the full rights to it. All right, now every one of us who have bought property have the full rights, but we have to claim those rights. Okay, now, um, you have here, um, up here is also, I'm going to be linking this, and here's again the treaties in the way of, um, um, and it was the Act of Congress, 1820, was the earliest statute passed for granted land patents. All right, now, to get, all right, here's the difference in the way the feudal pertaining to feuds, fees relating to or growing out of the feudal system of feudal law, having the quality of a feud as distinguished from allodial. Allodial is free, not holding to any lord or superior, owned without obligation or vassalage of reality and of feudal. Okay, now. One of the things from what I, it says you have to do, and I'm going to be contacting an attorney about this, all right, is to get this, you first have to apply homesteading. All right, where is, all right, here we are, giving notice. All right, you have to, um, all right, $20 to the Bureau of Land Management to get your the information, all right? When you, if you're living in a subdivision, which a lot of people are, you can't do the original land, uh, legal description because you only have a portion of it now. You have to then fill out the legal, write out the legal description of the property to which you are assigned. All right? It's from your deed or abstract is what you use. You have to apply for a, a de declaration of homestead. It can only be 160 acres or less. All right, you're going to have to make twenty dollars, send twenty dollars to the Bureau of Land Management for your uh, original land patent that was uh, given for the land. Then you're supposed to, if you have a uh, a bank that's uh, has a lien against your property at this time, you're supposed to send a certified mail. Uh, with your land patent, say after your land patent's filed, you must um, send uh, them a copy of it with your homesteading. Well, if you don't want to do that, you can also put in the newspaper for 60 days the uh, publication of the notice of declaration of land patent. All right, I'm going to be again linking these things in my article on the blog. This Everyone, please pass this information along. Go, um, I'm going to be doing a follow-up in the way of what an attorney says, but everyone needs to file a land patent for their property. It gives you sovereign rights. It's not the obscurity as they've changed it now. You cannot have a bank take it away from you, nor can you have the government take it away from you for non-payment of taxes. You have rights to it, all right? Um, this is so important and what, uh, and I, like I said, I found out about this through a comment. All right, it's been Sherry. 
Hey, uh, I just wanted to add uh, a little bit more. This is from uh, the Rural Land, a, a National Association of Rural Landowners, and it's about land patents. And it's, you know, saying, why should you do a land patent? All right, and this is, of course, rural landowners. It says to patent your land is to protect your land and enable you to keep your land through thick or thin in good times and in bad, no matter what. Such a person and his heirs and assigns forever owns that piece of land without any risk of losing it until it is voluntarily given away, sold, or otherwise disposed of. No local, state, or federal government, bank, mortgage company, or speculator can ever take it away. The Supreme Court of the United States of America has upheld land patents time and time again. It is the highest evidence of title and con Inclusive as evidence against the government and all claiming under junior patents or titles. The reason why um, I was looking to see if um, the federal government could take it or any government, uh, state or whatever, for eminent domain. And uh, I've been searching that and from what I'm finding is once you do a land, land patent, your property cannot even be taken through eminent domain. That is what I'm finding, okay? Um, and you, even if, if you have a warranty deed in your name and a surveyor's plat map of your property, you can patent your land even if you have a mortgage on your property. Uh, and they're saying, you know, this is educational. And the fact is you really don't own your land uh, at this time. And it was the 1930s that they started changing it in the way of the color of title. Um, a warranty deed cannot stand against a land patent. A grant of land is a public law standing on the statute books of the state and is noticed to every subsequent purchaser under any conflicting sale afterwards. Now, what I find interesting, by the way, is Texas never ceded their land in the Republic of Texas to the United States federal government. So, Texas is the one state that did not secede their land to the federal government. So um, I find that really interesting in that respect. And I'm not sure in the way of the land patents on this because this is federal um, uh, saying you own it in the way of no, no, federal, no, no other government takes it. Uh, I'm not sure in the way of Texas how uh, that's done. All right. So. This is, uh, and then it says what happens when you don't have a land patent and the bank, everybody can take it from you, the government can take it, um, you have no rights to your own property, um, you know, it's, it's all, it, okay, also, you do not need permission from anyone to do anything on your property and you do not need to give any government official permission to come onto your property. All right. So in other words, you, you can sell the government do not come on my property because I have a land patent and it's taking back your power and being sovereign. All right. Um, this is really important and this shows then the brief ownership of uh, land and um, pretty much having sovereignty to your property. Government can never take it. All right. Um, I will be linking all of this. Sherry.